Buffalo Bronco fans and the Broncos family now mourning the passing of Ronnie Hillman, just 31 years old. Ronnie played four years here. He was a big part of the last Super Bowl championship team in 2015. Hillman was diagnosed in August with renal medullary carcinoma. His family described it as a rare but highly aggressive neoplasm form of cancer that primarily affects young African Americans with sickle cell trait. So we want to talk more about that with our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. So tell us about this type of cancer and the role that sickle cell trait plays in it. So very rare kidney cancer, renal medullary carcinoma, less than 1% of all kidney cancers. And surprisingly, almost all cases are in individuals with either sickle cell trait, sickle cell disease, or other conditions which affect their red blood cells. So sickle cell trait is when you get one bad copy of a gene uh, from one parent. You don't have two bad copies, but in the kidney, in the medulla of the kidney, which is where this cancer forms, those cells can sickle, which means they can get stuck. So instead of being round, they look like a sickle. They get stuck in those tiny little blood vessels of the kidney, and that's thought to be the mechanism by which this cancer When occurs. you talk about those percentages of people, sickle cell trait, sickle cell anemia that we, we used to know so much more, uh, we're talking primarily about African-American men or African-Americans, period. Uh, African-American men and women. Yeah. This particular cancer is actually more common in men for reasons that are not well understood, but 8% of African-Americans will have sickle cell trait. Now in Nigeria, in the Africans, it can be as high as 20 or 30%. Mm. Wow. So a lot of countries actually recommending screening at birth because you might not know that you actually have sickle cell trait. If you find yourself diagnosed, is there any option for treatment cures for this? For the cancer? For the cancer, yes. Yeah. So unfortunately, most of the cancers, greater than 70%, are diagnosed when they've already spread mm -hmm. past, the, past the kidneys. And so there's really no cure. The fatality rate is very high. And unfortunately, a lot of the diagnoses occurs in very young people. So more than half of the cancers are diagnosed before the age of 28. And we've seen cases in kids as young as nine years old. Where do we stand with sickle cell trait, though? Uh, we, we see it. Is there anything we can do about it or anything we're starting to be able to do about it? Not really, except for knowing that you have it, because the education is the key piece. So that appears to be the biggest risk factor for knowing you have it. medullary ca carcinoma. So if you know you have sickle cell trait, which many of us don't know because it's asymptomatic if we have it, but if you know you have it, you can really identify those symptoms early. Now, systematically screening everyone for this cancer with sickle cell trait doesn't make a lot of sense because it's so incredibly rare. But the minute you see blood in your urine, you see any pain in the flank, you see abdominal pain, unintentional weight loss, anything that could suggest a cancer, it might help to diagnose it earlier. We're talking about someone here who's so young and an athlete, right? We think of like peak level of being so, so healthy and physical and yet that didn't seem to matter. In fact, the opposite. So with renal medullary carcinoma, we actually think that competitive athletes may be at higher risk. Really? And yes, and we think this based on uh, observational studies. So we've looked at military recruits, we've looked at competitive athletes, they seem to have it at a higher rate. We've also done animal studies where we take mice and genetically engineer them to get sickle cell trait and then make them exercise. And the ones that exercise more may have lower levels of oxygen, have more sickling, and therefore be at higher risk for this type of cancer. It's, uh, it seems so counterproductive, right? You think you're trying yeah. to be healthier in some of these folks. It's just so hard for, for football fans who get to know these players. Demarius mm -hmm. Thomas, we lost him a year ago from that Super Bowl team. And now Ronnie Hillman, who apparently only from diagnosis to death, only four months. That is the usual duration, unfortunately. So the most important take home message here, if you're African American or of African descent, even Hispanics that may have some African descent in them, go and get screened to see if you have sickle cell trait so that you can really be educated, not just for yourself, but also potentially passing it on to your kids. Simple blood test or what, is that all it is? It's not a test. elaborate? Nope, nothing invasive with that. Well, hopefully, uh, maybe maybe someone else might be spared, but uh, sad to see Ronnie Hillman gone so young. Thanks for telling us more about it, though. And like I said, hopefully, uh, hopefully some people are able to uh, to not not have that same thing happen to them. Dr. Powell Coley, thanks.